This video is going to review medical terminology, including regional terms, directional terms, and body plans, by using a body model. Let's first review regional terms in anterior position. Let's start with cephalic, head. And we have frontal, forehead, orbital, eye, nasal, nose, buckle, cheek, oral, mouth, mental, chin and cervical neck. And then going down, we have a chromial, which is shoulder, and going to thoracic, which is the chest region, and we have sternal, breastbone, and mammary, breast. And then we have axillary, which is armpit. Then we have brachial, which is arm, and we have antecubital, which is front elbow, and antebrachial, forearm. And then we have carpal, wrist, and then in the hand region, we have palmar, palm, and polex, which is thumb, and digital, fingers, as well as toes. And then going into crural, leg, we have patellar, anterior knee, tarsal, ankle, and hallux, big toe. Those are the regional terms in anterior position. Now let's look at posterior position. So we also start with cephalic, head. We have occipital, base of skull. And then in the dorsum, back, we have scapular, shoulder blade, vertebra, spinal, and lumbar, lumbar, loin. And in brachial, arm, we have olecranial, back elbow. And then going further down, we have sacral between hips. And in crural leg, we have femoral, thigh, and we have calcaneal, heel, and plantar, sole. So those are all the regional terms. Now let's review directional terms. First, we have anterior, ventral, and posterior, dorsal which corresponds to front and back. And then we have superior, which is also cranial, that means upper, and inferior, caudal, which means lower. And then there's medial, midline, and lateral, away from midline. The terms proximal and distal are used to describe parts of a feature that are close to or distant from the main mass of the body or trunk, respectively. So the upper arm is proximal and the hand is distal. Similarly, the thigh is proximal and the foot is distal. So intermediate would be between distal and proximal. It can also be used in relation to another point of reference. So in this picture, the elbow is distal to a wand on the upper arm, which is shown by the star. And finally, we have superficial, which is external and on the surface, and deep is internal and beneath surface. And now let's review body planes. So first we have transverse, which as you can see is dividing the body into up and down. And then we have frontal or coronal, which is dividing the body into front and back. And then we have oblique plane, which is also up and dividing into up and down, but in an angle. And finally, we have mid-sagittal, which is shown in the video, dividing the body exactly in the middle into left and right. And parasagittal is also dividing into left and right, but not exactly in the middle. So I hope you enjoyed the video and now understand all the medical terminology. Thank you for watching.